Thank you for joining us for the news at noon. We start with a story a lot of people are talking about right now. Residents of southeast Wisconsin were surprised to see water spouts forming along Lake Michigan this morning. These are videos and photos from some of our viewers in Racine. According to the National Weather Service, water spouts form when cold air moves across the Great Lakes and creates large temperature differences between the warm water and the cold air above. So to add just a little bit of context on this, of course, I want to bring in meteorologist Brendan Johnson. We really have been seeing a lot of videos mm -hmm. and pictures online. Yeah, I mean, one one water spout sighted over Milwaukee turned into dozens upon dozens of photos and videos. And we also had another scene over uh, in Racine County mm -hmm. off of uh, the coastline of Racine. And this is actually the time of year, Simone, where we would typically see the most water spouts on Lake Michigan. Rare okay. to see in person from the shoreline, uh, but definitely something that many of us we're witnessing earlier today. I first want to start off with the radar presentation. You can see this stream of clouds right down the center of Lake Michigan. That is an important feature I want to highlight because what's actually happening are the winds converging in the middle of the lake. They're interacting as well with some scattered showers that have developed. We've got one right off the coast here. Racine and Kenosha counties are going to be watching that closely. There is a possibility you could see another one of those water spouts, but you see the winds here due north to south. The lake temperature at about 70 degrees. Meanwhile, our air temperatures are in the 50s, the 60s, like they were earlier this morning. Of course, the winds on shore, not necessarily concerning. So what is actually going on when we're talking about water spouts? We've got cold air moving out over the lake. Remember, I was talking about that convergence. The winds are meeting together. They're streaming over warm water. What happens when this actually comes together? Well, we generate some low level spin right above the surface of the water. Doesn't usually pose a problem, but it's that little dark disc you might see off in the distance. Keep in mind the water temperature is about 70. We've got cold air aloft. The air immediately above the water starts to rise because it's warmer. Warm air tends to rise and we get that lifting due to the instability overall. So what have I met, haven't mentioned yet? We had showers, storms rolling across the lake. Think of those as little vacuum cleaners that pick up these areas of spin and warmer air and drag them into those water spouts. Now they're not very threatening to folks on land, but our dangerous to mariners as you see my boat there moving around. So that's why the marine warnings were up and down the coastline all throughout the morning. A lot of this is scheduled to come to a close later on this afternoon. We're dealing with full sunshine. We'll talk to you about it in the full forecast coming up in just a bit. Simone, that's a great way to break it down. Thank you, Brendan, for that.